Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here for you guys. I hope you're enjoying your day. <clears throat> it's almost the holidays, isn't it? Happy Thanksgiving. It's not Thanksgiving yet, but almost. <laughs> yep. So what's going on today here with Pisces? Isa. Hmm. Isa. Okay. Well, you know, Isa is not a bad rune. It's just slow. It's a slow rune. Isa means ice. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, things may feel like they're moving um, kind of slow. But Isa is a precursor to victory, Pisces. So, you know, there's really nothing wrong here with Isa. <clears throat> what else is going on here with Pisces? Arcana. Hmm. Could be dealing with your family, Pisces. Barcana is a rune of the family. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be. Most certainly does not have to be the family, but it could be. Um, Barcana, uh, the meaning of Barcana is birth. <clears throat> so generally it's talking about, you know, a new idea, something new, a new beginning, something, something new starting, you know, something new being birthed. Yeah, so this is like a new beginning, and it's very, very positive <clears throat> as well. Barkana is very, very, very positive. It's also fertile energy, too. So it can be very fertile. But it's probably something, I don't know, we'll see what's going on. Urus. Mm. Urus in reverse. Urus in reverse means something was missed or something was lost. Or, um, yeah, this could be like a missed appointment. It could be something that you missed. Something was missed. Uh, <clears throat> it's also talking about getting your sleep, Pisces, because I feel that somebody's not getting enough sleep. So this could be a sign of somebody being uh, feeling exhausted as well. Um, hmm. So, you know, Uru's is sitting here next to a very positive rune, so um, Arcana is really positive, so I'm not really thinking much of uh, <clears throat> Uru's yet. Oh, What's going on with Pisces? Yeah, right O in reverse. Yeah, this could indicate this could indicate a couple of things, Pisces. It could indicate car trouble. It could indicate <clears throat> car trouble. It could indicate um, some sort of um, It could indicate some sort of a transportation hang-up that's going to make you miss something. You might, you might, uh, you might end up missing out on something because of a <clears throat> a traffic or, or something to do with uh, travel. But at the same time, though, on the other flip side of it, you have Barcana here, so this is. Um, this is still, you know, things are going to work out because you've got Barcana here. This is like a new idea. 
something happens and this is probably like birthing a new idea, some new idea <clears throat> to, that's going to get you out of the situation. This could be like being stuck at an airport or something like that. It could be, it could be anything like that, some sort of uh, restriction in travel. Um, so if, if you're planning to travel, you know, it might be a better time to travel <clears throat> because I see some sort of a, a possible delay and it might make you miss something. This could be like a missed flight. Yeah. Let's put all the Pisces. <clears throat> and you have Hagelaz. Yeah, shocking, see? And it, what's getting me here is Hagelaz is touching Isa. See, Isa? This is really slow. So, I mean, if you're getting... I mean, you could be... This could literally be talking about being kind of like stuck somewhere. Yeah, today's not a good day to travel. <laughs> or whenever you're watching this video. <clears throat> Probably not a good time to travel. The good side here of Rido though, um, I mean, cause I know that everybody has to travel I mean, just because I say, you know, you still might have to travel. So, but if you do, you know, you may end up, you know, being stuck temporarily or something. <clears throat> what else is going on with Pisces? See, look at this, Rhino again, in reverse. Yeah, for sure, this is something to do with some sort of travel. Yeah, so it's not a good time to travel. The good side of Rhino <clears throat> is that it's spiritual. So, you know, I feel that uh, we're going through a really deep spiritual, um, a spiritual uh, awakening, something that's spiritual. We're, we're, we're raising, we're, it's like we're vibrationally raising, all right? But, you know, this is not really happy. Yeah, this, the, you know, yeah, this is, this is, this is kind of like a little bit hectic because you may be stuck. <clears throat> not a good day to travel for sure. What's going on with Pisces? Hmm, Ingwise, Ingwise. You know, and also now Pisces, since I see Ingwise here next to Rito, This is very, very positive rune too. This is something propelling you forward, but it's also Aquarius energy. So you could be dealing with somebody with Aquarius in their chart. This is transportation. This is something to do with the ride. You know, there's a possibility that, um, there could be something going on with, with this. Uh -huh. Oh, Pisces. Naturally, that's why I feel that way. I feel kind of, I felt really kind of weird after pulling Inguaz off because <clears throat> it feels different for everybody. Okay? It really does. And that's why I got the blank written. The blank rune is really kind of like, um, it's something unknown.
it's something it's something unknown but it, it it's something unknown really to um, something unknown to you for sure what's going on with Pisces I'm trying to Pisces if you it, don't mind me when I do this I kind of because I'm trying to read them coming this way now because I read them going this way and then I turn around and then I read them going this way and I can't really explain it but Well, that makes me happy. Okay. Okay, so we've got Wang Yu here. Wang Yu is happiness and joy, okay? And whatever this is, this is going to be a long day, Pisces. Okay, from what I can see, this, for some of us, this is going to be a long day. And it's going to be kind of, it's going to, it's going to start off a little, uh, you know, it's going to kind of be a little bumpy, okay? But by the end of the day, I think everything is going to be fine. You got Wang Yu right there. This is happiness and joy. Some sort kind of, you know, celebration of some sort. Uh, you know, if you're trying to travel, you know, you, like I said, you're, you're going to run into some sort of obstacles, most likely. All right? Um... Isa is always the precursor to victory. So, it, you know, you may be stuck for a while, but eventually you're going to get to where you need to go because you got Wang Yu there. The good thing here about Raido is that Raido is talking about um, spirituality. I think I mentioned this before. A deep spiritual awakening, a lot of uploads, dreams coming to you, um, intuition. Make sure that you're using your intuition, Pisces. Something, something is here. You, you may be able to be able to see this and and, um, and redirect it, because Rito can also be talking about reroute. So it could be talking about a sudden reroute in your life. Um. And it would be it would be kind of like an unexpected reroute that you really don't feel that you might I, I don't feel that you would want to go on on a reroute that's in reverse. Um, although taking a reroute that is in reverse is not is not bad because it always leads you to a good place. It's just not really where you it takes you to a place that you that you didn't think that you would get to. It takes you to a different place. And that, that can also be the meaning of this as well. But the main thing here is to take care of yourself and make sure that you're getting your sleep, okay? Um, and when I see Rido twice, I don't think it's a good time to travel. I just, you know, I, I foresee some sort of, um, you know, either car problems or... Um, um, some sort of delay or something. What's going on with Pisces? Oh, Pisces. Nine of Legs. Yeah, see, look at this. Man, oh man, nine of blades. It kind of like up in your head, see? Yeah, something's going on here with this right O in reverse. Don't worry, Pisces, you got Bark Connor right here. Very, 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 um, you know, this is interesting too, Pisces, and I never really thought about it. I'm surprised I don't see, um, you might meet somebody tomorrow, Pisces. You might you might just meet somebody new tomorrow. Yeah, you might meet somebody attractive. Uh-huh. The reason I say that is because I see Barkana and I see Inguas, and kind of like they're both... Um, 
they're both uh, very uh, how do you say I, I can't really explain it but they're both um, uh, gosh fertile that's that's the word fertile they're both fertile energy so you know when you're attracted to somebody you automatically kind of see them and they can automatically see you and like I say, this doesn't have to be an Aquarius Pisces. This can be anybody. There's only one Ingwas, okay? It could be an Aquarian. And if it is, you know, um, it could be having that effect on you as well. But don't fret. You got Barkana. This is a new idea, a new beginning, a new thought, a new something new that's going to come out happy. So... Don't fret yet, but it kind of looks like a long, it looks like a long day. It kind of does. <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces? Yeah, the Ten of Wands, see? Like, oh my God. Yeah. It's not a good day to travel for sure. Well, you know, the Ten of Wands... It just, you know what it means, right? It means that you can't, you can't, there's no such thing as an 11 of wands. So, you know, it's going to go, it's going to go back down to the ace of wands. It's going on with Pisces. Hmm, get the sun. The sun. Well, now I like the sun. The sun... And tarot is like one of the happiest cards. So it's a little bit different than the sun and runes. Uh, this is Leo energy. Um, and the sun is like, uh, you know, illumination, warmth, uh, happiness. You know, look at this. Wang Yu, happiness. So you got happiness coming. It's just going to take a while because you've got this new idea. You're gonna get out of this. You're gonna get out of this nine of swords and you're going to the sun. Why is the sun there? Nine of cups, <clears throat> the nine of cups. Yeah, the nine of cups. The nine of cups is, um, you know, it looks like you're kind of having a celebration there, and it looks like a wish fulfillment. So, yeah, and there's there there's your wish fulfillment, and there's the happiness that's coming. All right, it, it just kind of like to me, Pisces. You know, it just looks like a like kind of a, a long, treacherous type of a, a shocking day. You know. But <clears throat> just keep keep moving forward. You got a good idea. Whatever this good idea is, is going to save you because you got the sun. And then you have, you know, the nine of cups. And that's, you know, a hap that's, you know, wish fulfillment and happiness. Okay? And so is <laughs> Wong Yu. Just stay positive, okay? Stay positive. That's, that's another issue, uh, especially with Wong Yu. Um, Wang Yu is talking about happiness and joy, but it's also talking about being positive, okay? <clears throat> I know it's going to be hard to be positive, um, especially if you end up getting stuck somewhere and have to wait for some long time. But eventually, things are going to fall into place and you're going to be able to get to where you need to go, all right? And I, I also feel that deep spirituality, okay? What else is going on with Pisces? Work through your fears. Work through your fears, Pisces. Yeah. And I can definitely see that because, I mean, look at you. You're like, ah. <laughs> work through your fears. It's going to work out. You got the sun card, so don't worry. It's going to work out. All right, Pisces. All right, you guys, I'm going to get right here into the birthday runes, and then we'll get re really into the nitty-gritty and see what's going on. All right, so Pisces, um, 
we have three different birthday runes. And the first rune that we have is Solilo. And that's for Pisces, uh, born February 19th to February 27th. So if you're born during those dates, this is your rune. And the next rune we have is uh, Tiwaz. And that's for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born during those dates, that's your rune. And also, Pisces, if you're born on the 27th or the 28th, then both of these will be your rune. And it goes the same over here. The last rune we have is Bar Barcana. And this is for Pisces born February, I mean, March 15th to March 20th. So if you're born on uh, March 5th, 14th or March 15th, both of those will be your rune as well, okay? All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it and see what's going on here with Pisces. We're going to start here with Solilo. Let's see what's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. The sun. Solilo, the sun. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> so, you know. And the sun illuminates something, so something will come to light, Pisces. Something will come to light. Yeah, I feel that this is a good sun, too. You know, the, the sun in runes is a little bit different than the sun in tarot. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces born... March 19th to March 27th. Nguyen, Nguyen. And boy, we've got that a million times, haven't we, Pisces? <laughs> uh, let's look up Nguyen here. Oops, I'm dropping everything. All right, you know, it's interesting. That's the that's the front page of uh, of this book. <laughs> they use new one for their for their cover on the book. Here it is. It's the ash tree. And so, uh, the meaning of this is uh, transitions. So we're going through a transition. We already know that renewal, feminine energy. This is feminine energy right there. And it's also a renewal. It's, it's something new. Interesting. Uh, growth, peace, supportive friendships, and destiny. Well, now I like that. It says here that uh, struggles and challenges are a natural part of life, and it is essential to accept that these are obligatory for improvement and growth. New and symbols a get together of friends and families and communities for a specific purpose. An ash tree represents destiny, but it doesn't mean that you're bound by any certain route. See, look at this. You're not bound by any certain route, right? There's a blank room. Rather, it shows you a unique path that is especially for you. Boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become aware of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you desire with the most enthusiasm and confidence, Pisces. Wow. Looks like a really good reading so far for you guys. Let's, um, let's get one of these uh, shadow cards. All right, what's going on with Pisces? Pisces born February 19th. To February 27th. Rome free. Wow. Good one. Rome free. These are not only shadow cards, Pisces. They're also soul cards. And I think this is kind of like a soul. A soul card here. It says Rome free. Love your untamed and wild side. Follow your instincts and trust your inner voice. Wow. Awesome. Trust that inner voice, Pisces. Trust your intuition. 
and roam free. I like that. And it's right next to warm your happiness. <laughs> I like it. Let's get uh, let's get one of these cards here too. What's going on, Pisces? Oops. What's going on, Pisces? Born February nineteenth to February twenty seventh. Wild and wonderful. See, it's talking about wild over here. Uh, untamed, love your untamed and wild side. And then we get a card here that says wild and wonderful. And it says here, um, why focus on limitations and realism? Breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplainable and audiage and Illogical magic happens every day. Wow. Well, that's that's a bit of awesome. I like that. Let's get a witch rune, too. All right. So what's going on with Pisces? We're February 19th to February 27th. The star. Or no, that's the sun. <laughs> the star. Well, it looks like a star. I guess the sun is a star, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see what the sun says. Here we go. The sun. The sun rune signifies success, abundance, and positive energy, like the rising sun. It heralds a period of growth achievement and fulfillment illuminating our path and providing clarity in our endeavors wow so this is awesome and here's the clarity the sun you got the sun twice my gosh i never thought of that you got the sun here and you got the sun there and you got the sun here you got the sun three times dang so yeah things are going to work out it's just going to be a little bit kind of like rough at first but You'll see, it's going to come out really happy. All right? All right, there you guys. Let's get here into the next room here. This is for T-Wise. All right, so what's going on here with T-Wise? Now, let me see. Let's get these. All right. So this is for Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th. So what's going on with Pisces on February 28th to March 14th? Wow, the blank rune. <laughs> the blank rune. Well, like I said, you know, the blank rune is good, really. You know, it's the blank rune is... Uh, is the blank read you're not set by any type of boundaries or anything uh you're not set by anything you, you're free yeah you can create what you want the way you want it i like that it can also be it can also pisces this can also mean something that you don't know something you don't see all right because i see the blank rune here and I kind of, I kind of feel it in my, in my bones that there's something here you might not see as well. So it can mean that too. What's going on with Pisces? Usually they mean more than one thing. It's just, a, you know, a few things usually. Yulian, Yulian. Hmm. Well, that's not a bad one. It's not really a common one. It's not one that we normally pull out a lot, that's for sure. But um, yeah, let's see what it's talking about. Yulian is the honeysuckle or the beech tree. And the, the meaning of this is endurance, change, pursuing dreams, private thoughts, and revealing secrets. Yulian symbolizes the consistent change in life and our courage to express ourselves during these changes. 
honeysuckle and beech tree are both known for their strength and sturdiness. Honeysuckle is a tree that can overcome obstacles and reach heights with its climbing stems. And this represents the effort we make to achieve our dreams. Beech symbolizes determination and endurance with its sturdy structure and long lifespan. Yulian expresses our determination to pursue our dreams and achieve our goals even in difficult times. Wow, what a promising rune, right? I like it. Let's get one of these, um, one of these shadow cards here. What's going on with Pisces? Born February 28th to March 14th. Overthinking. Huh, are you overthinking, Pisces? Overthinking. Analyzing every possible outcome and becoming paralyzed in, by indecision. So try not to overthink, okay? These shadow cards here, the reason I pull them is so, is because um, the shadow cards here are, um, the shadow cards here are um, it's something under the surface that we can't really see. And so, you know, this is just to bring that, just to bring that uh, up to the surface so it can be seen and we can deal with it and heal it. And you know, I thought this was the blank rune Pisces, but it's not. I thought for sure it was, but it's not. It's Anzus. Anzus is communication. So communication is usually, it's usually talking about, um, sorry about thinking that's a blank rune, but these are very hard to see and it's even hard for me to see. So I know darn good why you can't see them. Uh, but um, <clears throat> Anzus is, is, is talking about some sort of communication. So it, communication of all types is generally talking about, um, you know, good news about your work or something like that, okay? So, you know, if, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but it, like I say, if, if, you know, if your car breaks down or something, you know, and you get stuck, at least, you know, it's not going to be any big deal, you know, for your people at work if that happens. Because Anzus usually talks about um, your work, but it's always good news. It's not bad news, okay? But it could be communication of any kind. So don't just tie me to that. It can be any anything. <laughs> All right. It's just usually about school or, or work. And, um, yeah. It's either a phone call or word of mouth, usually. So hey, boss, I'm I'm broke down here. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the day. You know, it's not gonna be that big of a deal if that happens. I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but you never know. Just just know that it's not really a super good time to travel for sure. What's going on with Pisces? A new chapter. A new chapter. Well, now, I like this. When things seem to be falling apart, be aware that things may be coming together in new ways that suit the next phase of your life even better. Wow. Wow. So yeah, that kind of like reminded me of when I was talking about this reroute, you know, a reroute, a new chapter, uh, you know, um, yeah, it may seem like, like I said, this is not easy, you know, it may seem like things are falling apart, but things are being actually put together, so just know that. And in the end, look at this, Wang Yu, I mean, and, you know, oh, what else? What else is going on here with Pisces on February 28th, March 14th? Rings. Uh, rings. 
rings. Well, that's not a bad one. It's talking about social circles. Uh, you know, um, the rings rune signifies partnerships, alliances, and the merging of energies. Like the interlocking rings of a chain, it represents the strength and stability of relationships fostering harmony and cooperation between individuals. Yeah, like I said, Pisces, I think that you might meet somebody tomorrow too. Yeah. Somebody new, yeah. Well, there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna get over here into Barkana now and we'll see what's going on with you guys. Get the rings out here. Here we go. So what's going on with Pisces born in February or March? March 15th to March 20th. Mmm, die gas. Die gas. Die gas is awesome. Die gas is transformation. Um Pisces energy. Um, it also means daytime, daylight. So, yeah, major transformation. I'm looking for the card here so I can show you. It's probably really very hard to see that on the camera. I don't know if I can find it. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. Yeah, the, the meaning of that is daylight. But as you can see, it's shaped like a butterfly. This is transformation. Transformation. And it, Othala is Pisces energy. So I'm going to interpret that as us transforming. Pisces transformation. What's going on with Pisces? Born March 15th to March 20th. Shailia, Shailia. I like Shailia. Shailia is a good one. Let's see what it's talking about here. Where'd you go, Shailia? I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> hmm, where the heck are they? Where the heck are you, Shailia? There it is. I think that's it. No. Here it is. Okay. So this is a willow tree, Pisces. And this is a very, very good uh, rune. You can see the, the scales. I don't know if you can see them on this card or not, but there's some scales on there. And what it's talking about here is uh, balance. You know, the scales bring balance, right? Balance. Um... It's also talking about intuition. So make sure that you're using your intuition, Pisces. This particular rune here is, slow, is closely connected with the phases of the moon, like astrology, things like that. Maybe somebody's into astrology. Um, it's also talking about perfect timing and romantic feelings. Uh, this is talking about you know, kind of how water moves, the ebb and flow of water. The willow trees are usually located near water. And since the movements of water is related to the moon and the moon cycles, these trees are closely connected with the moon. Willow tree is also connected with divination and intuition. So this is just saying, you know, using your, your intuitive abilities today you know yeah just keep on top of that you will it's it comes natural to us you know it's a natural in, in, intuition for pisces is kind of natural it's stronger for some but yeah intuition comes natural to us especially if we are drug free <laughs> if we're drinking that kind of like or using drugs or something, that will definitely take that intuition away. What's going on with Pisces? Well, on March 15th to March 20th. Mm. 
soft out. Ah. Well, don't have any soft out, Pisces. You got it. Soft out. It's often just a perception and not a reflection of your true abilities and worth. And so just, just know that, okay? Yeah. Let's get one of these cards here, too. It's kind of Pisces one, March 15th to March 20th. The beginning. There's still time to adjust or start over. Feel life flowing freely through your being. All your wishes can come true in the creative potential of a new beginning. And, you know, I really like that card. And that's exactly what Barkana is talking about. It's talking about a new beginning. Yeah, I like that. Let's get one of these witch rings out here for you guys. Let's put on Pisces one March 15th to March 20th. Hmm. We got the death ring. So let's see what the death ring is saying. The death ring is really usually pretty good. Okay, so this is in reverse. So it says here, uh, it may indicate resistance to change, clinging to the past and fear of letting go. It warns against holding on to what has already served its purpose and urges us to release attachments that prevent us from moving forward on our journey. All right, so make sure you're doing that there, Pisces. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.